Like, what do you know? Like, I went to school for acting. I did, I did plays. I, I put hard work into acting, all this kind of stuff, right? And I'm sitting there like, what the, what the fuck? Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm actually going to talk to you about a very, very important question that changed my life, actually. And the only reason I'm actually going to bring this up and do this whole video today regarding this question is because one of my uh, idols, uh, RIP to Bruce Lee, he actually asked the same question a very, very long time ago. Well, not that long ago, but I mean, essentially it was a while ago. I mean, I don't know what year exactly he posted this, but I'm going to share this, uh, this, this photo of what uh, Master Bruce Lee wrote. And the question that I'm going to be talking about today is what exactly is an actor? What exactly is an actor? Okay. That question actually changed my life. It really changed my life. And um, I don't know if most of you guys know this or not. Um, I live in Los Angeles. I do voice acting, acting here, and a, a lot of other things. Um, but but that question uh, set me on the path that I'm on now. And that's actually something I wanted to discuss with you guys today. Because like I said, I was uh, scrolling on Instagram and uh, I follow Bruce Lee, you know, and um, uh, you know I loved him as a kid and I still love him to this day. And it turns out he had actually asked the same question. He actually wrote it down and wrote a whole thing about it. And I haven't even got through reading the whole thing, but but I saw that and I was like, whoa, no way. I was like, someone I really like idolize, um, you know, had the same question in his mind as well. And if a lot of people don't know, Bruce Lee is a like really, really big, like big philosopher. He's big on philosophy. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. So he also thought about this question too. And once I saw that post, I was like, oh man, I, I gotta, I gotta say something. I gotta write something. I gotta, I gotta, you know, do something. So, cause I did have this question and it changed my life and I'm going to get into how that happened now. Okay. One day I was at a party. I don't know how old I was, like 19, maybe 20. I, I really can't remember. Um, but yeah, funny, right? But I was at this party and I was telling this joke to the crowd. Okay. To like, it was like a, it was a, you know, kind of a, some, somewhat of a, you know, bigger party. And I was, I was telling a joke to a bunch of people and my friend, my childhood friend was, you know, in the corner, kind of just like watching me tell this story. Right. And it, it was just this funny story. I, I'm not going to bring it up here. Okay. Trust me. I'm not going to do that. Um, but anyways, I ended up making people laugh and blah, 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 blah. Right. So it was just me being me. Simple as that. It was just me doing what I do best. I mean, what I do naturally. Okay. And my friend came up to me, my childhood friend from like third grade came up to me and he goes, Dude, have you ever thought about being a comedian? And I was like, no, dude, no, I'm not a comedian, bro. Like, you know, I'm like, that doesn't even sound fun, really. And he goes, bro, like, he's like, I was watching you like from the corner and like, like everyone was like listening to you. Like you had their attention. You were making everyone laugh. He's like, dude, you know, people get paid to do that. And I was like, man, I was like, man, that's, yeah, that's cool. You know, I was like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's kind of my thing, you know? Um, Cause I'm more of a funny guy, like on the spot, you know, I'm, I, you know? So I was like, I never really thought about it. I kind of just put it away, you know, after that in my mind. And, and actually what was happening, I think was uh, my friend had planted like a seed of doubt in my mind about like who I really was, which was awesome because thanks to that, I was able to question what an actor is. Okay. And how it started was this, my friend said, Hey, com comedy, right? He's like comedy. Right. And I was like, mm, that's not really me. Okay. I mean, it is me. That's a, actually a big part of who I am, but it's not entirely who I am. You know, there's a lot of other things I like. There's a lot of things I don't like, you know, I'm not always funny, <laughs> believe it or not, you know? Um, but, but yeah, so I thought about it and I kind of gave it some, um, I gave it, I gave it a little bit more, a little bit more will, like I gave that thought a little bit more willpower. Okay. And I started investigating, um, some of my favorite comedians. I was like, Hmm, if my friend, you know, is telling me this, then, you know, let me see if there's some sort of truth to this and you know what a life that would be, 
you know, to just be a comedian and just like make people laugh and, you know, make some sort of a living doing that, you know? And I, I just was like, you know, let me think about it. Let me like, let me even just give it a little bit of thought, you know? And after doing that, I, I, I studied my favorite um, comedian, which was Dave Chappelle. Love that guy. Love you, Dave Chappelle. Um, and I just studied about, I kind of just looked at his history and just kind of who he was before he got famous, how he got famous, the stepping stones that he took to get there. And then because I re and then while I was studying Dave Chappelle, I realized that that he was a comedian and then he became an actor. And in my mind, I was like, wait, what the hell just happened here? Like, what, what just happened here? How did he go from being a comedian to being like an actor, you know? And from there, that's where um, the real question began. That's where everything, it wasn't just like a, a little like something I wanted to think about. It was something I was like, what is it? What is this? Like, what is this? You know? And 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 it's it's crazy because I came to a lot of realizations, Okay. I came to a lot of realizations during this, uh, during when I walked when I walked to that question, when I walked into that question, and it's crazy because what is an actor? What is an actor? Like really though, like what is an actor, right? Like we see people on TV, you know, we have we have people we idolize. We have, they're they're usually like someone in some form of entertainment, you know. Like what is an actor, right? And I when I was thinking about this, you know, when I had this. You know this this whole um, conversation in my mind. I had to really think about some things, and I and I thought about it. Almost everyone's kind of an actor. Almost everyone's kind of an actor to uh, to a certain degree. Um, most people don't even know know that they're an actor. Okay, and 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 this is gonna get really really kind of deep. And this is what it is, though. I mean, it's gonna keep it honest with you. This is the thoughts I was having when I thought about these questions, like what an actor was. You know. And, and I realized that, believe it or not, some of my ex-girlfriends were actors and they didn't even know they were actors. They were just decent liars, you know? And I just realized what, like, wasn't that form of lying like a form of acting? Like, isn't it though? And when I started thinking about that, it was just like a natural form of, of, of acting. You know, most people, when you become an actor, you're, or when you are, you know, acting, you're, you know, you're playing something, right? You're playing a role. It's in a sense, pretend, right? You're playing another character, right? You're living another life in a sense, right? What, what, what people I've noticed when they lie is they're naturally, like they're naturally it's like a it's like a defense mechanism right it's like a it's like a act of survival kind of to to get whatever they want or whatever they're trying to lie about right and then from there they become I mean, you want to call manipulators or whatever but that is actually acting i mean it's real acting it's it's hard to explain that but it that's what acting is having the ability to manipulate emotion I mean, I'm not even joking here. It, that's really what acting is. So I'm gonna tell you this one, one like kind of quick story, just about a guy. I was I was at I was at my buddy's house, okay. He and I was explaining acting, and I was trying to create some sort of content. I was trying to create like a like a like a short short skit, short film. I, I don't know. I was, it, it was a while ago, and this is when I hadn't you know pursued acting I hadn't lo I hadn't moved to Los Angeles and I hadn't you know done auditions and all that kind of stuff but this was just something in my heart and my mind that I really wanted to do and you know I had danced around the whole like you know idea of creating content I had created content I had practiced some sort of acting you know by myself and on camera and you know did some stuff anyways so I'm at my friend's house and he has this temporary roommate and I'm talking to my friend. We're sitting in his living room, and we're and I'm sitting there telling him my ideas. I'm like, "Hey, man, look, I got this story. Like, I I love for you to act in it. It'd be cool, right?" And my friend's like, "Ah, oh, nah, man, I, I can't do that. You know, like, I'm not an actor. Like, I don't know how to act, right?" And his his temporary roommate's like in the living in the kitchen or something, right, overhearing this conversation. And I had said, "Look, man, like, I had said acting's not really that hard, okay?" I was like, "It's not that hard." Okay, um, but the, keep in mind when I say this, okay, when I say this, this guy in the living room, 
uh, this temporary, or he's in the kitchen, this temporary uh, roommate comes in and goes, what do you mean? What do you mean acting is like not hard? What do you mean? Okay. And he starts getting like really shitty with me. Right. And I'm sitting there like, bro, like what the hell? Like, where is this coming from? And then, but what he was, what he, what his point was this, he was like, look, I spent, he's like, I went to school for acting. Little did I even know that this guy, this guy's a waiter in Indiana at this time. Okay. I, I have no idea what this guy's goals are, but never has he once mentioned that he wants to be an actor. Never has he once mentioned his idea of like any ideas of creation, no, no, nothing, none of that. Okay. And he starts like kind of coming off to me and saying like, like, what do you know? Like I went to school for acting. I did, I did plays. I, I put hard work into acting, all this kind of stuff. Right. And I'm sitting there like, what the, what the fuck? You know? And that's fine. I get that. There is a whole aspect of acting of that. Keep that in mind. There is an aspect. There's levels to everything. Okay. It's like photography, dude. It's like photography. Anyone in their iPhone can take photos of the sunset and make it look, and that's that's fine, and that, and it can be pretty, and that's great. But you know, like when you're a real photographer, it's you're you're capturing emotion in a shot. You're capturing tone. You're capturing you're cap. There's a lot more that goes into just picking up a camera, and taking a phone. There's a lot more that goes into just acting. I I agree. Trust me. You can't just say like this actor you know who's like an, you know who only does comedies and then you have a diverse actor like leonardo DiCaprio, for example dude that guy plays a lot of different roles i mean that guy that guy is a real actor okay no joke okay but there are levels to this acting like i said some of my exes were actors they didn't even know it bro they were just great at lying and great great at like pretending that's what acting is you know so i'm just being real about it okay and anyways so at the end of that conversation, you know, I had told them, hey, look, whatever, chill, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, I'm just saying that there's there's levels to this thing. I, I you know, it is what it is. But I'll never forget that, okay? And I'll never forget how how mad he got. And I know I'll never forget how confused I was on where this came out because he had never mentioned he wanted to do in, like acting or entertainment. He had never said he went to school for it, and nor was he pursuing that dream. Okay. And there I was on the other side. Okay. With only dreams and, and ambition and goals and wanting to get out of there, wanting to make something happen, bro, let's be real here. Okay. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. Okay. I have very little acting like, uh, education, if you want to call it that. Okay. Very little acting education. I, I did like a couple plays when I was a kid did, before I even knew I wanted to do, uh, entertainment or acting. Okay. Like I'll be honest with you. There are two degrees. There's like two kinds of sides. There's people who are naturally good actors and naturally can just feel emotion, feel empathy. They're just people who are very in tone and in, in tune with that. You know, and then there's people who work their ass off to get in tone with that and to, to get in tune with that. It's, it's just what it is, you know? And, and, and that's, and that's like the, the, the hard part about, you know, being an actor, understanding what acting is and and seeing it if maybe you're an actor i mean i never thought i was i was doing that but here i am in los angeles my first year i not this is not my first year my almost my second year but my first year when i got here i started i started acting you do websites you do backstage you do casting networks uh, actors access you put you push those dreams to reality man okay but anyways that's not the question is the, the question was what is an actor okay and the fact I wanted to bring this up because it is a really, really touchy topic for some people. Okay. Some, some actors who, if they ever see this are going to understand what I'm saying. And some actors are going to see this and hate what I'm saying. It is what it is. But I promise you right now, if you don't believe me that, you know, that you, that you can do this or I, I'm, you know, pursuing this dream and I'm making these stepping stones really happen. I'll tell you right now, go to Google, look up actors, who are famous with no acting experience and and message put them message if you find anything anyone you like just comment in below let me know okay because i promise you that it is real okay acting acting is not a, is as straightforward as as it may seem okay acting is is just think about it. look in the mirror someday look in the mirror today if you want and and see if ever in your life you have unintentionally become an actor. Have you ever 
lied to someone? Have you ever pretended to, to be a certain way when you didn't? Did you ever have to fake a smile? Were you ever mad? Okay. Think about those things. Okay. And then realize, un understand that acting is really just manipulation of emotion on, on command. That's really what it is. Like, I'm, you know, like I said, some people are going to argue with you on that one. But I'll be real with you, dude, with personal experience and acting experience, like as playing characters, I've done it. I've played some characters, you know, I've, I've, I've auditioned, I've got picked over other people. I also didn't get picked over other people. It, dude, like if I'm able to do this with no acting experience, then what is an actor really? What is an actor really? So once again, I know this was a, a kind of an interesting, um, unique, unique conversation, but uh, I want to thank Bruce Lee, Master Bruce Lee, for inspiring me to make this video because it is a question that came in my life and shaped my life to this very day. Anyways, um, I just wanted to uh, thank Bruce Lee for, uh, for letting me uh, make this video here and bringing that question uh, to my mind again. Uh, and I'm so glad that he also uh, thought of that question a long time ago. I'm going to post the, um, the, the actual Bruce Lee um, writing and his question that he wrote there. I'll post it. You guys can pause the screen or whatever, take a look at it. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, if you hated this video, if you don't agree with me, obviously let me know down below please let me know below if you did agree with me let me know below if you thought this was insightful if you thought i'm crazy that's that's a, that's all right let me know below um i really appreciate you guys being here today thank you so much i got a lot of things to do and i hope you do too and we'll catch you on the next one